full butter smooth. guys got the arma big rock 6s 17 scale back out for another blast this thing is an absolute beast i love this truck arma really uh, hit it out of the park with this thing with the styling uh, and also bringing back that iconic big rock look just to recap this thing is fully m2 cfi'd i'll pull the lid real quick as you can see all that beautiful m2c bling in here along with some basher queen bits the m2c chassis on this truck took a major beating last bash god it's up there Oh, she's still perfectly straight. As you guys can see right there. As far as the electronics, still running a stock servo and radio, but I did upgrade to a Hobby Star 4092, my go-to motor for big power. And these are eight scale and seven scale rigs. Uh, this is a 1480 KV uh, with a Max 6. And I did add some fans on here because I'm running a 23 tooth pinion. Did a quick uh, neighborhood test. She got a little bit warm on me, so I just decided to throw on some a double fan system right here. It's just a basic heat sink that wraps around the motor. And then I got a couple of Rocket aluminum case fans on there, uh, which ought to help with the with keeping everything cool. What's having problems with the body popping off on big jumps and stuff? I'm not sure what's flexing to cause that to happen. Uh, even with the M2C chassis, this body was still popping off on a hard landing. So what I did is I took a piece of aluminum. I guess you could use like rigid plastic and just lengthened that uh, little piece right here just a little bit. So it has a little bit more material uh, going through the shock tower. So we'll have to test that out and see how it does. These Ragnarok tires are still holding up perfect. I haven't even lost a glue bead yet, so Armour really did nice with these tires. All right, guys, pretty stoked to give this thing another run. If you guys want to pick this truck up, check out my affiliate link. I'll put a link in the description. Help support the channel. It's an amazing rig. I can't wait to give it another blast. All right, guys, let's see what's up. Oh, barely made that. Dang, guys, the body on this thing has definitely seen its uh, better day. This front end is completely coming off right here, so might as well just rip it off. Now we got better airflow. That was a nice jump. Full butter smooth. <laughs> At least I landed on the downgrade.
Hey guys, this truck just flat out rips now. Yeah, one good thing about the 1480, it gives it that torque to push through that grass. She's just hauling butt. Looks like a broken arm. That was a pretty hard slap. No, arm's good. Jam the shock. I guess I've been a shock shaft. Oh, that was close. And I lost power. All right, guys, that's going to be it. Kind of a short video. Just wanted to get this thing out and uh, test out this new Hobby Star motor I put in at 1480kV in the Max 6. Definitely has power and speed with a 23 tooth pinion. The fans did their job. These aluminum case rocket fans worked out uh, absolutely perfect. Um, I did end up blowing two wheel bearings back here and uh, also broke this arm, unfortunately, which I don't have any spares. And I don't feel like yanking any off any other rigs right now, so I'm going to have to get some of those on order. But this thing took a, took a major beating once again. All M2 CFI'd and basher queened. I did go ahead and throw on a 6S wing mount in case you missed that uh, because the back, this uh, skid plate right here ended up snagging on the ramp and uh, ripped off as I suspected would eventually happen. But it uh, works absolutely perfect having this wing mount with a wheelie bar right here. I just had to cut out the back of the body to accommodate that, but I think it looks pretty cool. All right, guys, I had a blast with this thing once again. Big shout out to M2C and Arma. And we'll see you guys next time. Mars Studio 81. Peace out.